Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick, well, hopefully quick, repair video of this TS100 soldering iron. This is a TS100 soldering iron we are using at a place I work. Well, actually, I should say we were using this because I don't know how visible this is on camera, but the pin broke off and my idea is that someone tried to insert a 2.1 millimeter jack into a 2.5 millimeter jack and that obviously didn't work and now the pin has broken off and we can't use it anymore so my idea is to well first I tried to find one of these barrel jacks and Miniware offered to send me one but that was pretty costly because I had to pay for shipping and the part itself so I decided to do something else so instead I decided to buy one of these cables on Aliexpress and try to remove the barrel jack from inside the TS100 and solder this directly onto the PCB and then maybe fix it in place with some well some super glue or something and that way we still have the 2.5 millimeter barrel jack but I don't have to replace the barrel jack that's inside the TS100 so first things first I'll have to remove some of these hex screws to get it open alright now this should open up Maybe put my nail in between the two pieces. Or did I forget something? No. There it goes. Great. So it looks like two more regular screws I have to remove. Alright, that's those out. Now I should be able to just remove the PCB. There it goes already. And one of the buttons fell out. Don't lose that. And the other one's up there. Oops. This also came out. I'll put that back in later. So this is the barrel jack that's inside the TS100. I've searched a lot on the internet and I couldn't actually find a similar one and although Miniware was able to supply me one of those I was hoping actually they would be a little bit more common but they are not so I have to desolder these four pins and then the barrel jack should just come out now this is the time where I wish I had my solder sucker but I don't so I'm going to try it with some solder wick with some solder wick and some flux and a working TS100 Well, I'm afraid that's going to take too long and I have to apply so much heat that I'll probably desolder the other components and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do something I don't like to do. I'm just going to cut off all these four pins, five pins actually, and then that will make it a bit easier to desolder. And for some reason, uh, although it's broke, broken, I still don't like to cut off pins I don't know why but I think for now this is the only option because I do not have my solder sucker here all right that was maybe not such a good idea my Plato cutters didn't really like that luckily these were the already broken ones but I don't have any other here 
So, next plan. See, the thing is, I can't get in there with my pliers, so I can't cut it. So maybe the only solution is a Dremel tool, which of course I don't have here. Alright, I need to think. Alright, are you ready to get mortified? Are you ready for the horror show this has become? This was... A pain. I couldn't desolder it. I thought I would be able to cut off the pins. That wasn't an option because this is massive. Uh, I did, however, end up being able to desolder the center pin, but that's where it all ended, and I ended up cutting off half the connector, and it looks awful. But it does, however, where's the... It does, however, still fit, which I kind of expected because I only removed bits, not added anything. And I now have a hole where the cable can get through. Let me grab it. So the idea is the cable goes through this hole and then I'll solder the positive wire to the pad that's on the other side of this hole and the negative or ground I'll, I'll find a spot somewhere maybe the case even but I don't think that will take solder very well so I might end up soldering it to one of the pins but first things first I got this cable from AliExpress and I don't know who made this cable and it should be center positive but just to be sure let's grab a multimeter and check it right so I'm touching the the shield and the negative wire or the ground wire and that should give me hmm I think I'm not touching it properly. <clears throat> and what's this all about? Oh, yeah. Well, I can't get a good contact, but yes, it's center positive. All right, now that that's out of the way, time to solder the leads to the PCB. But first I will feed the wire through the hole because I will never be able to get that on there once it's soldered to the PCB. I'm never ever ever going to do this again but it should work for now if I haven't destroyed anything during the well butchering of the barrel jack. The only thing I have to do is plug in the microcontroller again which is on a well on a daughter board and I remembered that it should go in this way that's in and the only way to get this in is this way the other way around that capacitor would be in the way so I'm pretty confident that this is the way it should go. Now I'm gonna clamp this onto my third hand and power it up. Let's turn it around. Power it up and see if there's magic smoke. Well that's promising. Let's assemble it and see if it also heats up the tip.
Oh no! I forgot the buttons. No! Alright, it's the next day. I had to let this dry overnight because the glue didn't dry as fast as I wanted it to. But it's really solid now. It's not going anywhere. So it's time to close this up and if no one else ever opens this again, we should be fine. Thank you for watching this horror show today. Uh, you may now shame me in the comments below. See you next time. Bye-bye.